Hey everybody, Mike Grinch. Mike, we are back with another IAAI walk around. Thank you very much to Cliff, the manager here at the Tulsa facility. Got my little bag. Yeah, I got microphones in here and I got a bag, a little bag. I have a bottle of water because it's gonna be 110 degrees today and I'm gonna to try to crank out several of these videos. Get my money's worth so you can get your money's worth as well. I found a really cool car in a different color and that's gonna be car number one on this video. Let's check it out. And by very different color, I mean white. No, actually, I was going to show you the orange Jetta right there, but it's all taped up and I can't get inside. Okay, so I, I can't remove the uh, window wrapping because they want the car sealed so no water gets inside. So I can't show you the Jetta, but how about this? How about a CLA 250 Formatic? I have not driven one of these. Because it's a Mercedes, I have to include it. You know that. I got to say, I love this. This is really nice. The rear lights super super nice these are gorgeous cars this one used to be really gorgeous she's had a little bit of a, a traumatic event in her life she got tapped right here i think she got hit in the front first and then she got tapped in the back but look at this even inside the headlights there's your mercedes right there we have airbags that have gone off this is the reason why i actually I put my water and my coffee up there. This is what happened to her. I think she hit, she took a hit this way, spun, and then the back half of her hit something else. Yeah, this is, this is a lot to deal with, but look at the, look at the radiator support right here. Look at that, look how different that is. I can't open the hood because it's taped down. But you can see we have some broken pieces right there. Wow, look how, look at the suspension. That's different. Okay, that, yeah, okay. That's not your 1997 S500 type stuff. No, that's 2019 type stuff. This is 2019 CLA 250. We can open this door and we can show you that all the airbags went off, but I haven't seen the inside of these. And so I really just kind of wanted to see what it's like on the inside this is nice i don't know about the they just okay for the designers this is where you guys can come in and comment and the ladies can come in and comment and the kids can come in and comment do you like it when they just it looks like they just screwed on an ipad on the dash and that's design that's how you design cars these days i don't know that's just kind of weird to me i do like the vents with the x's that's nice uh there's no wood because that would make it an old car, right? So you want carbon fiber, you want plastic and all kinds of things right there. But that I don't like when they just stick the screen up there. And it really goes back to how they define quality or how they talk about cars today. Quality is defined by technology, not like it used to be. Quality used to be how it was made the materials they used, how good the wood was, the thickness of the leather, the windows being thick. Now it's how much technology you can stuff into a car. That defines it. Anyway, this is the 2019 CLA 250. I'm not really interested in this, but I just wanted to kind of see what it looked like on the inside. Because like I said, I've never uh, driven one of these. That's a big old airbag coming from a little bitty piece, centerpiece right there. At least the dash airbag didn't go off, so that's okay. But you've got to replace one, two, three, four, at least four airbags in this car. And of course, that's, yeah, start adding it up. And she's, yeah, she's history. I hate to say that, little back seats that you probably can't even see over. You get to see through here, Wow, okay. And that's where they threw all the pieces from the accident, I guarantee you that. Yep, okay. Two windows, how cool is that? 
there it is, 2019. Let's move on quickly, because this makes me sad. Here's exactly what I need to tow with. Yep, a big old Dodge Ram 1500 from 2005. Little dent right there. We have some scratches right here, but overall, it's a work truck that has been worked. Yeah. She has been worked. Does she run and drive? I don't know. Here's a little scratch right here on this side. I can't tell you how many people have told me, this is what you need, Mike. This is what you need to get that Hemi. And it goes for a long, long time. It won't go forever because they have the valve seal problems. How do I know? Because I had a Hemi and it left me stranded like that. And I had to sell it for super cheap because I just did not want to deal with all of that. Okay. Well, maybe this has the same problem <laughs> as my Jeep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Half your engine's in your trunk or your bed, the bed of your truck. Check that out. You got your camshaft, springs, valve springs, all kinds of stuff. I, I guarantee you that was the problem with this. I guarantee you. Let's see what it has here. Oh. Okay, we have the uh, velour-ish interior. It doesn't smell bad. It really doesn't. Let's, let's climb in and just kind of see what's going on here. Ooh. Whoever, oh, whoever drove this truck used lots of hand lotion. Ugh. Ugh, that was greasy. Okay. No fancy radio. You still get a little port. They left that in there so you can charge your phone. They loved rubber bands. These are so old they look like spaghetti. Okay, they collected rubber bands. No sunroof. This is a work truck. Yep, it's a work truck. Let's go look at the engine or what's left of it. And there you got your floor shifter for your four by. Your four by. Okay. Uh, where's the release for the hood? I don't even know. Let me look. Okay. We'll be right back. Hold on. Stay with me. There's your release for your hood right there. Did you hear it? Okay. Let's see what's left of the engine. Oh, there's very little left of the engine. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, that was serious. Somebody really thought they could fix it and then figured out they were way out of their league. They got it all torn apart. It's been a while. You got all kinds of mouse droppings and everything right there. Woo. Wow. You get lots of room to work on it. What do the cylinders look like? I wanna, I can't let go of the hood because the struts are gone. But there you go. Check that out. There you want a project that's gonna take you a long time to fix. That's deeper than the valve seals. So I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're just gonna have to pass this up. I'm sorry. I can't, I just can't, it's too much. It's too much work. Here we go, let's lower this. And there it is. Okay, 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 with half an engine. Woo! And how about a Jeep Grand Cherokee? I love this thing. This is gorgeous. I love the redesign, how they kind of shortened the windows right there a little bit, made it a little beefier, a little meatier. They made the headlights a little smaller. And look at that. That's a mean looking car. Yep. It looks kind of like, and don't yell at me, but it does look kind of like a, a Range Rover. In my opinion, in my low, ooh. Well, okay, here we go. Hi. Check this out. Okay, we have, she took a little bit of a hit. Can we save her? Yeah, I don't know. Look at that. So, if it went in here to the B pillar, she's gone. That's a big problem. How do I know? Because I bought a car like this. <laughs> I did. Yeah, you can't open that at all. Yeah, this is, oh, I'm sorry to see this. I really don't like to see this. So this is gonna be a parts car, I think. I really do. Let's see how nice the inside was. That's, that's disappointing. Yeah, I had the ML, remember my white ML 500 that I towed everything with that I loved? Yep, 
mine was damaged right in through here. And so I found a body shop that said they could do it if I brought them the piece. So I found a piece and they cut it from here all the way down to there, the whole B pillar. And it was in white. And I took it to the body shop and they said, ah, give us a couple weeks. Well, it was like six months later and they did the crappiest job ever replacing that B pillar. It was that when they welded it, it was full of holes. They just blew right through it. They didn't know what they were doing. They really didn't, and it just ruined the car for me. But I still used it, and I still towed with it, and it did fine. It served its purpose well. This, ooh, you know what? This is giving me style here, right here. This is giving me, oh, I like the smell. I love this long, long, long moonroof right there. Yeah, my son-in-law has one of these and loves it just loves it the back seats that's where i always get stuck with my grandson yeah you know i'm say, in the car i'm in the car yep that's my grandson um this is where we would sit in the back my daughter would sit here my son-in-law would sit here and they would take me everywhere but i don't think oh you get all kinds of keys with this don't you yeah okay i'm sure it's dead i'm sure this thing is dead oh no it's not <laughs> Okay, let's turn that off. Yep. Look at this, though. I love the interior. These are so nice. And they're really high-tech. Yeah, they play one song up here. They play a different song in the back. Their, their car, they have headrests and screens back there and everything. It's a beautiful car. This one used to be. Wow. Yeah, this is a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That used to be nice. I love this. I love this. The sit, you sit up high. This is a lot more comfortable than my, what did I have? An 05 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That was the most uncomfortable car ever, ever. Let's see what's under the hood. There we go. Okay. I love the wheels. I really do. And the tires, woo. Lots of meat left on the tires, okay. Today's the day everybody gets to come out and look at cars. It's a Monday. They allow folks to come out and take a look the day before the auction. This is a V6. Six quart right there written on the top. They still have room if you want to get the V8. They had lots of room right there for you. Woo! Okay. I, it's just not even worth looking at this stuff because I don't want to go through that whole B pillar again. Wow. Okay. Well, she used to be a nice car, so let's close this. There it is, okay. Say goodbye, yep, there we go. 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. She was once a lovely, lovely car. You know what, this is gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna end the videos inside the vehicle where it is nice and toasty and warm and hot. Like I said, it's 110. That's gonna be the high temperature here in Tulsa. Woo! Yeah, global warming. It's fake. Yeah. Anyway, this is real. This is a nice car. I love the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I did use mine. Uncomfortable seats, but it hauled everything until it dropped that valve seal. Okay, so I can't look at this one anymore. But I can't look at the camera and say thanks for watching. Yeah, we're going to have more of these walk-arounds. Of course, thanks to uh, the good folks here at IAAI in Tulsa. Okay. We have another video coming up very, very soon. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you want those really cool Monkey Wrench Mike stickers, there you go. Cash at me $3 to Guy 99 and I'll send one to you as soon as I can. Please send me a picture of it on your car. That'd be pretty awesome, okay? MonkeyWrenchMike123 at gmail.com. That's the email address. I just gave the secret away. There you go. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.